Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, yeah, it's been a while. Um, I was in Cozumel, Mexico um, for spring break with my family, and um, we had a lot of fun. I'll talk to you more about that later. Um, but um, I haven't done too much to the layout, um, but I did add some uh, 22 inch uh, turn track right there and around here because. Um, some of my new flat cars are um, so big and so wide that they cannot handle 18 inch curves. So I decided to upgrade to that. Um, I'll be getting some more of it, but um, anyway, I haven't done too much with the cars. A lot of them are still with uh, one of the members of the train club because um, while I was away, I gave most of it to a friend to uh, run at the train show. So um, I'm sad I missed it, but I think where I was was a lot better. Anyway, um, so I did get a new uh, shipment in while I was gone. Um, this here is a Walther's Gold Mine HO scale, ready to run um, TTX, 89 foot 4 inch flat car. It's a flush deck flat car. And um, this is mainly used for uh, hauling semi-trailers. Now, um, I'll give you a little bit of a brief history. Now, you guys saw my Atlas uh, Masterline flat car like this. And you notice on that one that um, that one had little gates at the end of it. This one does not because they found um, when the trailers started getting bigger um, that they could fit two 45 foot trailers on one of these cars right here if they did not have the gates on them. If they put the hinges right here, here, to collapse this one, then you could fit two 45 foot trailers on them. Or, if you kept this one on, you could fit three 28 foot trailers. So, um, this was a very useful car with many different hitch configurations. And, um, it was a little bit expensive, it was about $30, um, but um, yeah, um, as also what I got, I got two of these, I got A-Line um, Modern Thermo King, uh, these are like refrigerator um, generators for uh, refrigerated trailers, um, so you can just stick them on any old trailer and um, they make it look like a refrigerated trailer and they come with little auxiliary uh, tanks um, for I, th I think it's for some kind of fuel or something, I don't know. But um, yeah, I decided that they would be cool to get. I got two of them. I'll um, show them to you guys later. But um, I'm going to see uh, what I can do with this, but I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So just give me a second. <laughs> okay, um, so you get these little pack of accessories. Um, it looks like extra hitches for collapsed versions. And, um, they give you a lot, a lot of that kind of stuff, which I love about Walters. Uh, they give you some horn hook, horn hook couplers uh, for those modelers who like to use them. Um, actually, I think they have some extra grab lines in there too. Anyway, um, you get your instruction sheet to assemble the extra um, parts for the hitches, and you get a little warranty card. Um, so the model comes with a standard uh, window or whatever um, in front. These little things get pop out of place. To <laughs> Looks pretty good. Um, it comes with little pieces of foam or whatever wrapped right to uh, protect the model and the paint job. So uh, this is what it looks like. Um, it looks really hot. Awesome. Look at that. Now, I'm not sure you can see this, but um, this part right here 
Uh, that's a chain that's been molded. It looks like a hand rake. Um, got your hitch right here, and your hitch right here. Both are removable. You got your hitch right here. And this one, I hope, is removable. Yep. Um, so, uh, like I said, if you wanted to haul two 45 foot trailers on this, the one goes right here, the other one goes back to back with it, right there. And there's a slight overhang, but that shouldn't be a problem. Um, so, anyway, the I got the RTTX one, which is obviously a division of TTX. They have a few different styles of TTX ones from Walters. Uh, now, the, what I notice is um, on this one, the paint uh, colors is different from the Atlas Masterline because the Atlas Masterline one has white paint, but I think they used both. So um, anyway, that's an unboxing of that, and I'll get back to you guys with the rest of the stuff after I look at this. Okay, we're back again. Um, sorry, I just had to look at that for a minute. Um, so I, after looking it over more, uh, I realized that there's a lot more detail on these cars than the normal uh, Walters Goldline models. Uh, probably, which explains its price. <laughs> but um, there's a lot of detail here, and um, a lot of extra stuff you get. Um, I just wanted to show you these A-Line Thermo King. Um, coolers. Now like I said these are for refrigerated trailers. Um, now the only thing is the price. It's about seven dollars per unit which is pretty pretty crazy for a cooling unit for just a trailer. So um, these are probably the only two I'm ever gonna get. Um, but you know it's a two-piece thing right here. And the white parts fit over them. Uh, and they, I'm not sure you can see that, but that's actually like really uh, fine mesh stuff or whatever. Um, everything on here is, is pretty, it looks it looks really good. So um, yeah, and then uh, like I said, it comes with these two little fuel tank things. You can put them on the sides of the trailer. Um, that's what refrigerated trailers have. Um, if you, if anyone knows what goes in those, um, please inform me, because I have no idea. I'm not a big trailer kind of freak, but, um, anyway, um, I'm probably going to have to get some more trailers, because I don't have en enough for the spine cars as it is right now, so I'm going to have to buy, like, ten more. <laughs> so that's, that's going to take a big chunk out of it. Um, here are some of the accessories. Like I said, the, these are actually um, extra hitches, which can, these are ones you can build in the open position, and right here is one in the closed position. So, um, yeah. Now, uh, the, I I found out that these flat cards can be used to carry anything. It doesn't have to be trailers. You can take all these hitches off. You can haul heavy machinery on them. You can haul full length semi trailers on them but you would only be able to haul one. Um, yeah, I, I just, you know, think these are really cool cars, like I said. Uh, because of these cars, I had to extend my curves right here. But that's not a big problem. It's, it's not too bad. Um, I'm going to be uh, putting up a permanent layout over there. It's going to be huge. And that one's going to have... Uh, really wide curves and everything so these won't be a problem um anyway so that, that's about it you know i've relocated some old buildings i've had um so i'll let you guys know when i have a new update coming but that's about it <laughs>